Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation if it does not resonate. And even if it does, we should check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. For the collective Capricorn, please. What is going on? Capricorn, please. Okay, listen. Pis Pisces and Aquarius both also had this card. I'm so attracted to you. We will be together again. I wish I could share my good news with you. So it does seem like you and this person may not physically be together right now in this moment. Um, and they do want to talk to you and like, they may have some positive things kind of happening in their life right now. If they wish they could talk to you about. So let us see. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen and understood. Your energy, their energy, what's between you and this person, the obstacle or challenge. Their thoughts about you, their feelings, their intentions, and actions. Under the deck is the chariot. So some of you, this may involve some type of travel taking place. Okay, this is Cancerian energy. We also have the Knight of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands. It's like someone wants to have this opportunity. They're willing to fight for it in order to come towards you or travel to you. Okay. I'm going to grab a couple more cards just for a little bit more information about what's going on here. So what is going on here, please, for the collective? What is going on here, please, for the collective? I think this actually came up for, I think it was Aquarius also. All right. So we have secrets. Unknown, holding back, keeping things private, protecting what's important. And then we have vulnerability, weakness, loss of power, unable to hold back. And stability, security, home, family, or familiar surroundings. So I think this person really does dream of having like security in a relationship and building some kind of really positive future. I think that you might be really, I'm going to read it as this is your energy, but for some of you, this could be flipped or reversed. For some of you, someone is really worried about their financial situation right now. Okay, there are some concerns about like work, money, home life. Um, somebody might be stressing about a job or need a new job or something like that. Or maybe it's how you see your person. Maybe they're dealing with this situation. I also feel like with the five of pentacles that you're really missing them. Like you're feeling, you're feeling a bit distant. Like you don't know what's going on with this person. And I do see secrets kind of repeating itself here a lot. So like say, it's like you may not currently be in contact or there is some kind of blockage in this connection where you're really wondering about this person, missing them, yearning for them, wanting to know what's going on with them. What are they feeling? What are their intentions? You know, are they going to make a move or like what's going to happen? You have all these unanswered questions and you want to be together. I think that you and this person both really do love the idea of having like um, security, like a home. Maybe some of you have been married to this person or are married to this person. Now, I know I'm always going to get comments about what signs are heaviest coming through. Like, please know it could be any sign. But we do have Cancer strongly here with Aries, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I think with this Five of Pentacles that, that you miss this person. And they're waiting for... It's like this person's waiting for something. They feel like they cannot come towards you at this moment. Like, they have to get something in their life in order first. In order to be able to freely move towards you. And what I mean is like maybe this person is currently in the process of like selling a home, okay? And they have to physically move, you know, across the country or something. Or this person could be trying to find another job and that's where all their energy goes into. For some of you also, like I said, if this person's like leaving behind a previous situation or something, there could be things that are loose ends that are getting kind of tied up is what I'm getting. Between you and this person, though, there's like this very long history of like being there for each other, supporting each other, like uh, very compassionate, stable, loyal, supportive. Um, you care about each other. You've helped each other. Again, there's something here, but like, I wish I could share my good news with you. Like this person maybe has this opportunity for like some really positive change in their life, but they're not currently at a place where they feel that they can freely communicate this to you. 
there is some kind of restriction. Regardless of whatever this blockage is, though, it's like you both know it's only temporary. Like, in, in a matter of time, you'll be together again. Like, waiting for this travel or waiting to close this distance. The issue, though, with the Seven of Swords, it's like, again, there's, I don't know what's going on with you. Like, I wonder what you're thinking or what you're experiencing. You know, I know we'll come back together again. We always do. We always, we will be together again. Like, having faith in that. Knowing I can be vulnerable with you. I can be honest with you. I'm unable to hold back much longer. Someone is so anxious here. When this person thinks about you, they're thinking about the Eight of Pentacles. This is building something. Building some kind of sense of security. Trying to protect each other. Some of you, this is interesting, some of you may have like skills or something that complement each other, okay? Like um, if one, of, as an example, let's say that one of you is like um, a model, the other is a photographer, right? That kind of thing. Or if one of you is a waitress, one of you is a chef, and maybe you, maybe you have some kind of dream about opening some type of like bi mutual business that both of you could you know, do very, very well at or something like you have very similar career paths or something that complements each other very well. Like you can, like your careers or your um, talents, okay, um, kind of help each other. Do you get what I mean? It's like what you and this person could accomplish together. There's like no like end to it. Like there's just so much like infinite potential for it, like so much success and I mean, I see something really beautiful being created here, but it's like a matter of waiting. When the time is right, we will come together. It's like this, you both know this, like deep down. Why does this person feel? Well, there's this anxiousness about this new beginning. They're, they want it. They're tired of waiting. They want to just go after it and take this leap of faith and do it. There's this very playful, fun, energetic, like, you make me feel like a kid again. You make me feel like anything is possible. You make me feel like... You know, there's just so much potential. We could be so happy. We could be ourselves. We can be carefree. You know, it's it's exciting. But their intentions with Four of Swords, it is to wait for something. Something about, like, we can't rush this. We have to let things take its natural course. Four of Swords, they are thinking about you. Meditating, waiting, planning, trying to prepare mentally. But... In the outcome, we do see you and this person coming to, like a long-awaited embrace. Finally, we're together. Like we just had to be patient. We knew it was going to work. Look at how happy, how comfortable they are. Something very, very beautiful there. So let us do messages from your person. Um, some of you have already seen these, and a lot of you are really enjoying them. Um, let's see what person wants to tell you. Can we keep this between us for now? So, I mean, and, and for those of you where this isn't even like a secret relationship, it could just mean they're not ready to kind of go public with it until you're like officially together or something like that. You're the only one for me. Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or some strong Pisces in a chart. Or for some of you, it could be that this person, there's some kind of significance to Pisces season, which you're currently in. Drunk call. So somebody might be drinking and call you when they're at their most vulnerable. If I tell you that I love you, will you say it back? So someone's feeling a bit insecure. That may be why they're calling me when they're drunk. They may be feeling like if they admit their feelings for you, they're afraid of being rejected. But if they are, again, under some kind of influence or something, this might, you know, kind of free them up to be able to express their true feelings. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to choose you. Let's see. November. November also could hold significance here. Can we meet at our special place? Looking at your photos and missing you. I can't stop thinking about you. I wish I could hug you right now. And yeah, we had that here. They can't wait to hug you, to hold you, to be with you again. Because they truly feel like you're meant to be together, that you will be together. And you both feel that way. Like, that this is not over. Like, you've always kind of found your way back to each other. They can't stop thinking about you, looking at photos. There's somewhere of significance for both of you. They want to see you there. Um, so that may, this might be where you meet. Maybe they're like, you know, some of you I get like a meet at the airport or something. But there's like, um, 
somewhere that you'll like see them like maybe they're saying meet me at this restaurant meet me at this place you know and like there's like this hug like this very passionate very intense choosing you i'm not going anywhere you're what i want they're afraid to fully open up to you but i think this person you're the only one for me they're just not ready for this to be, I'll be public until it's like official or something or like formal relationship or something but there's movement travel coming to see you I do apologize if you guys happen to hear my young children, but this person, they're going to, they're going to want to see you. They're going to want to meet up with you for something. Like I said, this could be a conversation, a call that's, that's, you know, made where this person's expressing their feelings and wanting to come see you, you know, if, and again, that's if you're open to it. So that's what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. And please let me know if those of you who do want me to use these messages from your person cards, let me know that in your order note so that way I can make sure that I do get a chance to pull them during your private reading. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.